All right, so at this point in setup, uh, this next uh, set of instructions only applies if you are converting a cyberface from 2K16 or 2K17. Otherwise, you can disregard this video and continue uh, continue on to the video with specific instructions for that particular game. So the last bit of setup, if you are doing a conversion from 2K16 or 2K17, is some um, some setup in Blender uh, where we will be um, enabling uh, the add-on that is included, the Blender add-on that is included with the tool, and uh, changing a couple of other settings um, prior to getting started. And so this uh, add-on only works in Blender 2.79. So open up Blender 2.79, go to user preferences, go to add-ons, um, the user section, click install add-on from file and locate your uh, tool directory. And then inside of there, uh, click on the resources folder, the Blender 1617 add-on folder, and double click the zip file in there. Then check the box there to enable it. Um, click the X up in the search bar to clear your search. And now uh, look for the uh, mesh section here. And in this section, uh, scroll down until you see where it says mesh loop tools. And also enable that box or enable that add on by checking the box. And lastly, uh, go to the input tab. And again, look for the mesh, uh, or sorry, and again, uh, or first go to the, uh, the 3D view tab and expand that. Then look for, again, the mesh um, tab. Scroll down to the bottom until you see a button that says add new and expand. Um, expand the entry that you just added here by clicking that arrow. And so go into this box in the top left and uh, type in the following mesh dot loop underscore select and hit enter. And so you should see now that it is um, it now says loop select up here. It now says it's enabled. And go over um, to this box here where it says keyboard and change that to mouse. And then go to the, um, the box below it where it says left. And then click select. And then finally go, um, go to where it says SHI or it stands for shift, check that. And then where it says alt and check that. So now it should say shift alt select mouse. Oh, so we're creating a shortcut for something that we'll be doing later. Um, and so go ahead, or sorry, uh, or sorry, this first one should be just alt select mouse, my bad. Um, and then go down to add new again, do the same thing to expand it, type in the exact same thing in that box there. And 
And for this one, um, in the bottom here, where it's grayed out, check the box that says toggle select. And now for this one, um, after you change these uh, two boxes like we did, uh, the first where it says mouse, the second one, change it from left to select. And then uh, for this one, you'll want to check the boxes for shift and alt. So this one should say shift, alt, select mouse. So in the end, you will have uh, two entries that you created here, both of which say loop select. Uh, one that doesn't have any of these boxes checked here. Uh, the first one that should be alt select mouse. And then the second one, the bottom one, um, should have shift and alt uh, checked. Uh, it should be a, sh a shortcut for shift alt select mouse. And it should just have the toggle select box checked. And once you have that done, uh, click in the bottom left here uh, to save the user settings, exit out, and we are now ready to uh, begin.